Okay, I've just done a walkthrough of your 78865 Sanita. Everything looks excellent. These people have kept wonderful care of your place. You can see that the lawn, all of our lawns are a little bit off here. A lot of people are just turning off their water. Um, but I'm supposing if you're going to run it or sell it, you probably have to have the water on. You probably need some fertilizer. As I was walking up here, I noticed here, uh, if you're going to rent it, not a problem to leave it like this. It's clean. You know, it's been trimmed. Uh, for sales, you may, yeah, you could plant flowers around there. Is that basil or is that mint? Anyway, um, <laughs> things look good. The screens look good. The place could probably use a power wash on the outside, but things are things are in really good shape. My back is to the front door. All of the blinds are in good shape, although one of them, I believe the one in the kitchen, he said, uh, had some missing a missing piece. You can see it there. I love this to the left. These doors behind this couch. He says, uh, it's so nice that you can have either a bedroom or an office or a den, but he says those doors shh, do fall off. Um, the layout is really nice. It's very family friendly. Of course, you can see there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, everything's in good shape. I mean, this is, I don't really see anything. The only thing is I've been told by the tenant that some of the electrical outlets, you plug stuff in and they just fall out. The uh, actual plug just falls out and that's not good. And then there's an arc, some kind of a reaction, which is a fire hazard. So that needs to be addressed. The backyard is fantastic. Definitely some cleaning is needed, you know, spider webs, power wash, whatnot. I know you're going to be doing all that. The pool looks good. I um, see a couple of spots, but really for sale or rent, uh, other than that little spot, which can be taken care of with a little pumice stone, but this pool is in very good shape. You can see there's some dirt down there, but overall, um, it's fine for sale or for rent. You don't need to do anything, but uh, here's your backyard. Might trim back some of those trees, but it's super to have those nice big trees. It really lends to the, um, to the size. It really makes it look uh, sizable. Now here you have your patio cover. It looks like it's in decent shape. And you have a little bit of dirt. It looks like a good cleaning and maybe pulling this corner back and re-securing it. It doesn't look like it really needs anything. Just a good cleaning, I'm impressed. Uh, these, this screen here, that screen for the exit from the dining living area out to the back patio and this screen here you guys are going to have to take a look at the scratching on these doors. You just, you'll just you look at that later. But uh, this screen here, they both fall off the tracks and probably need to be replaced. Additionally, uh, the rolling doors, the closet doors in the bedroom need to be replaced as well. So I am really okay with these standard cabinets. You know, the white, as long as it's clean, um, people will buy it or rent it. Um, so now I'm going, as you know, down the hall. The paint's in really good shape. Looks like they may have had some things on the walls, but they filled the holes nicely. Um, okay, let's make this quick for you. Your master bedroom's in good shape. Um, there are, you know, obviously you're going to be repainting, but the paint is, is um, fine. The carpet, if you're going to rent it, you might just clean the carpet. I know there's still a lot of stuff here, but I don't know what that is. That's going to have to be addressed. That's up above the shower here. 
I don't know, those are older shower fixtures, uh, excuse me, uh, water sink fixtures. You may replace those if you're going to sell it. Um, I was a little, uh, what's the word? I thought, oh my, when I saw that the washer dryer is outside, that's um, a little bit hard to take for people because in the summertime it gets so hot here that once you're, um, this bathroom, by the way, the tenant says is in fine shape. I like that there's a window here. There's just almost never windows in bathrooms, so this is fantastic. Let's take a quick look over here. I love this linen is in good shape. The closet to my left is in good shape. But having the washer and dryer in the garage is a tough one because if you don't immediately dry your items, oh, this is just the door that needs to be replaced. For rental, if you can fix it, but it really does have to be fixed. Um, keeps falling off the track. And I really like this room. As I was saying, for rental, you really don't have to change out these doors, but if you're going to sell it, I would recommend it because it just makes such a difference to spend the 100 bucks or whatever. Um, but having the washer and dryer is tough. You get moldy smell if you don't attend to your uh, close immediately. That is going to be somewhat of a, uh, you know, somewhat of a detractor for any buyer that the washer and dryer is outside. But I believe the demographic, if you're planning on selling, your demographic uh, won't mind it as much. These people, their kids are a little bit older. You know, they, they don't think it's so great that the park is next door because their kids are grown and they're coming from a different place. But your demographic for a purchase or even a rental, I love that little detail on the garage door. Uh, you know, they're going to just love the location and, and such a community feel. And I don't think that this is going to be a big deal that you have this out here. But it is, um, you know, it's something that they're going to make people pause. And so you want the other parts of the house, like the closet doors and all of your outlets and whatnot, to be that much more, um, you know, tended to.